Good evening, Vietnam. Hello. Hello. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Houston, Houston. Nelson, are you there? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carlita. How are you tonight? Good, and you? I'm okay. Why? Why I'm okay? I don't know. It's just I'm bored. Why? I don't know. I'm just bored. You know, like I don't know what. And this is concerning because all my life I have always listened to music, but <laughs> lately, lately, it's like I don't know. I feel I'm. I'm listening to the same music all the time. I see you uh, down more. Honestly, um, ever since August 8th, my life changed drastically. So, why? Uh, because my cousin passed away. Oh. And, and that, that really that really changed my life it, it's a big hit this yeah, it was a big loss it was a big loss yes not just for me for the whole family and her kids you know she left three kids but me i mean personally i don't know i i don't know it's just yes. you, you, it's i mean difficult. yeah death death makes you realize many things it's like Put your feet on the ground. It puts your feet on the ground. I remember that in some time you go, you comment me that she passed away a uh, ways of of um of um how do you say de un momento a otro? Yeah, suddenly. It so was a sudden, sudden. I mean, yeah, we were not we were not expecting yeah. that to happen. Yeah, in fact, in fact, what, one, what one of, impact? it was impacting. Was yeah, it? it was impacting. And, and one of her daughters, her reaction, the 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 eldest daughter, her reaction was uh, really strong. You know, she she said, uh, "The doctors killed my mom. The doctors yeah. killed my mom." She she's she's like eleven. Oh wait. No, she's Impre 10, 10. Impression of for a kid. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, it is what it is. But the thing is that it's, it's getting really difficult for me sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's really difficult. It, it's just that when you love someone and, and, and this person passes, you know, it's like, I mean, you're, you're fine. And suddenly, suddenly you, you think, oh, I have to call. Oh no, she's not yeah. here anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. But but animals, they share animals. Cheer up, cheer up. I know, I know, I know. But yes, it up. is what it is, and you, we have to move on. And that's part of life, actually. It's just part of life. So it's, it, it is difficult. My father passed away on twenty eight, twenty eighteen. 2018, really? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Was was a big impact because he in four days he was bad in that that one day is good the next day are pass away. 
was that very he passed difficult. away. Yeah. 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 Man, it's just that, and you know what I find strange is that, well, well, my cousin, her sister, her sister said something scary, you know, because she analyzed that since 2007, when my uncle passed away, my, my cousin's father, right, he passed away in 2007, <clears throat> every four years, we were having another death. So four years after my uncle, my cousin, my uh, my cousin passed away, and then it was her his sister who who passed away recently. But the thing is that okay, 2011, then 2015, four years later, my grandma passed away. So 2007, 2011, 2015, and 2019, I think we had. Yeah, no, we had her now in 2022. But the thing is that she had, she started analyzing, you know, who's next, who's next? And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> it's, it's, very, not okay. it, it's very difficult. Your, your history, your history? Your story, uh, your story. Your, your story is similar with me because in 2017, passed away my, my grandmother and, in 2018, my father, my my uncle, in 2021, 20, 20, my grandfather and my father-in-law is very difficult. Yeah, it is. It I, is, am, it is. I, I am expert in in. A, I'm expecting in a. An expert, no, I am, soy experta, como se dice? I'm an, ex, I'm an expert. I'm an expert. I, I'm an expert in a process of a different uh, situation in a pass away of, of, of. You know, that, that, that I learned. Because all, yes, because in, 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 in all case I mentioned, I, I, I have I have how to deal to all do. no to deal. Uh, I have had oh, yes, I have to do yeah I have had to do all process all the arrangements for, and everything. The, the, yeah, the funeral arrangement. Repeat it. The funeral arrangement. <laughs> ah the, the yes, the funeral arrangement. Yes. Man, it's so expensive. Oh, yes. that, that's I mean Michelle's Michelle's was like almost four thousand yes, dollars and I, I had never I had never um I had never been in charge of this process you know but it's there's so much so many things to to consider even the tamales you know trying to find someone it, it, even that is is crazy I mean yeah it's insane but anyways again it's part of life and the anyways it is what it is and we have to continue because we suffer i mean the ones that stay are the ones that suffer and she's fine i mean she's she's totally okay but anyways let's move from the sudden the sadness <laughs> let's start the class okay how many are we we are 10 already. Let's do the attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Hello. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Not here yet. Ana Sermi Cheves. Not here yet. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Hello, present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. 
Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Good evening, present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so yesterday, what did we talk about yesterday? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly, yes. Common phrases followed by gerunds, right? For example, Go to your WhatsApp. You have everything on your WhatsApp. Give me an example. Mm, teacher, we learned to use a ING after a preposition. That's For right. Example, I, I don't worry if I'm losing my job. I don't worry about about losing my job. Losing my job. Exactly. That's an example. Someone else. Someone else. Come on. Everything is on your WhatsApp. Okay. I Let's... was learning some verbs yesterday. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, huh? but that, that's like past continuous, right? That's past continuous. Uh, learning? Yeah. E ING. ING, right. But I subject was the verb to be in past and then ing that's past continuous. Think about the examples we did yesterday. Uh, one of them was excited, being excited about. I am excited about something. So think about this like um, it could be subject, a verb, an adjective, the preposition and the verb with ing. So be excited about, be curious of, and the prepositions were key on these examples. Okay, be responsible for, be interested in, to remember, be capable of. And I say I'm tired of working very hard. I am, I, I am, am tired, I am tired of, time of working, of working all day, all day. Okay. I'm tired of working all day. I'm tired of working every day. I'm tired. I'm tired of, yeah, very good. Okay. I'm tired of having to work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that joke when you wake up and you ask God, right? Why do I have to go to work? Because you're poor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why me? Why uh, no, no, no. It, it's like you ask God, right? God, give me yeah. a reason. Give me a reason to go to work. You're poor. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the example of used to. I am used to, I'm accustomed to. I'm used to, I'm used to walking. Mm -hmm. I'm used to walking. I'm used to walking to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm used oh, to walking. walking, 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 walking. I'm used to walking to the bus stop. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Adita. Okay. 
teacher. I am working. Wait, wait. Let's use let's use something else. I am interested. I'm interested in. I'm interested. Interesting. Interested in. in. Estoy interesado en. I'm interested in. Now give me a verb with ing. Um, learning. Good. What? Uh, learning. I study English. Ah, oh, come on. I'm, <laughs> I'm interested in studying English. I'm interested mm -hmm. in learning English. I'm interested in visiting a taco. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in visiting a taco. Okay, and so on. Uh huh. Um, be capable of Nelson. Be capable of. I am capable of Nelson. Ser capaz de I be cap capable. I'm, I'm capable. I'm capable in of uh, of of swimming all or all day. It's poor. It's poor. Uh, I'm capable of swimming in poor. in deep pools in, in deep deep. Pools, piscinas profundas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deep pools. Okay. Deep pool. Just don't, don't forget that you know that that structure. Now, this was on your book, page seventeen. See how to use special, how to use special expressions followed by gerunds. So we had some examples and I was telling you about this recreational um, verbs. That's the way they called it here in the book. Recreational verbs like go, fishing, go, biking, go, hiking, go, running, go shopping. All of those recreational or, or leisure, leisure activities, you need to use go with a verb in ING. Now there's a, there's a list I actually send you on your WhatsApp an image with a full list. Hold on. Here. Okay, I send you that list some time ago. Recreational activities. Go ING. Go running, go shopping, go hiking, go surfing, go bowling, go sailing, go camping, go sightseeing. What is go sightseeing? <laughs> when you when you for example when you go to a natural a natural oh my god nature nature yeah a nature natural place natural place uh-huh yeah just to for take example, pictures right yeah it's a size i i think yeah you got it you got yeah. it yeah what is going we to when we went to the when we went to the boquerón <laughs> Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. So if you notice, all of those are recreational yep. Yep. activities. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, be careful. Uh, tienes que conjugar el verbo to be ahí en algunos ejemplos, ¿ok? Uh, en los ejemplos que estamos viendo. Y de igual manera, el verbo principal se conjuga. He goes running. ¿Ok? We are going high, kayaking. We are going kayaking this weekend. I went shopping. So the verb to be, sometimes you use it, sometimes you conjugate the go. It's not always go, ing, okay? So that's what this refers to. We go fishing with our mates. This is more British. Well, no, no hold on. Black mates, yeah, this is more British, but it's just from the office. There is a new recreational program so that employees can go biking. He goes running off 
every day after work. And then we have other examples on your book as well, other expressions. We didn't see this yesterday, I think. We have, have fun, have a good time, plus the verb in ing, have trouble, have difficulty eating. For example, uh, my dog has difficulty drinking pills. I'm sorry, swallowing, swallowing. Did you know that verb? Swallow? You don't drink pills, you swallow pills. You don't drink your food, you swallow your food. You got it? Good. Okay, so my dog has difficulties, or has difficulty, I'm sorry, swallowing pills. He hates pills, doesn't like them. Okay, waste time, spend time or money. Um, don't spend your money, don't spend your money betting. Listen, don't spend your money betting at casinos. Don't spend time trying to change somebody. Don't spend time trying to change somebody. And then you have some examples on the book. The employees had fun learning. Now be careful. Again, you must conjugate this guy here. Have fun, have, have, okay? Waste, spend, spent. Companies spend years building a reputation. So on page 17, you have some examples and you need to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in the box. You see, work, understand, surf. Please don't say surf. No, surf, you say surf. It's an E, okay, surf, surf. Let's, let's go surfing, okay? Advertise, side C, play. So Mark and Dan go, da da da. Okay, and then you have six exercises. I'm gonna split you, this is page 17 on your workbook. I'm gonna send you this to your WhatsApp again. Questions? Come on, guys. There you go. Okay, I got you. I got you. If there are no questions, I'm going to split the class. Wow, we're 16. Woo! Looks like Friday tonight. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's work on page 17 on your book. Teacher, hey. um, are you going to share the? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep. Yes, I I have maintenance with my partner in the next Santa Ana. He go back to the world. It's hard, okay. but it's good. Okay. That's okay. Hello, Pamela. Good evening. Okay, okay. Hello, hello, come in. The task it is is a homework in the page 17. Yes. It's a, 
is a for the word is a is a bird. In ah, the okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Number number one. Number one. Down. Okay. Go. Go. Do some. Then it goes surfing. Yes. And number one. Okay, and number two. The pronunciation teacher is surfing. Surfing, 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 surfing. 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 Some might work hard, difficult, difficult. And I'm not saying, What is the bird song of my worker? How difficult? What is the pressure? Is a what? Understand? Yes, it's a under pressure. To me, it's a free. Okay, in number two, some are much to work in hard difficult working on the pressure. Oh. Uh, yes, working. Teacher, what is sightsee? Sight sightseeing. Is 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 the I know, I know, but sightseeing is when you go seeing places. For example, when you go to a taco and you take pictures, it, it's like knowing a new place. Knowing a new place, tourism, tourism. Mm. You you travel, you go on a tour, you take pictures. Of uh, course, it, it's places that you have never been to. It's, it's como conocer. Mm -hmm. Turistear. Turistear. <laughs> a mí me estaba buscándolo y me decía suspirar y yo qué. 
Quizás mm. le escribí mal, no sé. Mm -hmm. Faltó la T. Ah. Uh -huh. Ay, no, suspira. Where are Sandra and Carla? I'm sorry, I was in a work call. Okay. I'm sorry, but I am, okay. I am ready. Okay. Wendy, I am finished. If you want to review, is I'm done. Ah, yes, I'm done. Okay, I maybe understand uh, some correct, but or no. Um, no problem. The first uh, verb is surfing maybe surf mark and then goes go surf i don't know is is surfing sí. <laughs> <laughs> We finished and we we were enjoying. You're done. You're done. Okay. <laughs> yes, we do. we're yeah. done. We're done. But we 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 were talking about the homework teacher platform. We, we, yes. we were the platform. platform. The platform. We were trying trying to do it. Yes, because that that's yes. It was so difficult. The platform. Yeah, it is so hard. It is so hard to do it. Because we need an different. example of the, the first exercise, <laughs> the first exercise for the next. You need an example of the of the the first exercise on the platform. Yes. Okay. Yes. We'll see that. Number one. one, number two, that <laughs> the, the many exercises. We need that someone's complete and <laughs> they give us <laughs> the answers. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see that in a minute. No. <laughs> I have a question in the in in a word teacher. When you use um, the word sizey, you need change um, some letter in the end mm -mm. for you. I see. That is a good. Uh, that is a good question. Actually, that was one of my questions when I was learning. Um, for example, flee, flee, see. I mean, if there is a double e, 
You just add ing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, we're almost done. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I like see Wilfredo because he see very Hi teacher, good evening. Hello. Oh, you're done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Hmm. There is a uh, wrong. There is a mistake. There is a mistake. Yes, but we will see it. Uh, many, many of you are doing the same mistake, so don't worry. Okay, you're done, so let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let's just wait for the others. The others. I like that movie with Nicole Kidman. Have you seen it, Kenya? No, you haven't seen the others? <gasps> Do you like horror movies? No, I don't like that. Yes, actually. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I, I, I'm watching a, a series in Netflix. The oh, the what the visual? Oh my god, el vigilante, the vi, the picture. The Watchman. The Watchman, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I was, oh my god. <laughs> really, I, is it good? I, I stop him. My 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 subscription. I stop him watching because mm -mm. my Netflix <laughs> subscription finished today. I cut it off. Oh my God. I, I took off <laughs> Netflix and I and I started again with Disney and the stars because I wanted to watch The Simpsons with, with my kids. Oh, okay. And I'm watching Family Guy while I'm working. While I'm working, I'm watching Family Guys. So why? That's the name of the series. I mean, I'm working and I'm Ah, oh, Family Guy. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I like that series. I mean uh, I liked it for a long time. It's very funny. Sometimes they go too far. That's true. Okay, guys, you know what? what? Be before before getting your answers, I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago when we started this topic, you know, about, about present participle of the verb. Okay, it's not called ing, it's not called gerundio, okay? Yeah, gerund is the gerund form of the verbs. But in reality, it's called the present participle of the verb. Again, present participle. Okay, something that I should have done a long time ago, something that I should have done, should have, should have, should have done is this. I love this chart and I'll send it to you in a minute. How's it is a simple? No, no, I'll send it to you in a minute. So <clears throat> how do you modify the verbs when you add ing? So really quick. Voy a decir esto en español para que quede grabado en el video y ustedes pueden regresar al video y ver cada una de las reglas que en teoría son tres, ¿ok? Vamos. Primera regla, todo verbo que termina con una E, ¿ok? Y ese sonido E es mudo, quito la E y agrego ING. Lógico, la mayoría de verbos terminan con la E muda. O sea, 
los que terminan con esa E, no hay casi que ninguno que se pronuncie la E. So, for example, believe becomes believing, have, having, live, living, take, taking, move, moving. So, si notaron la E, es muda. Believe, have, live, take, take, move. Okay? Drive, and so on. A lot of verbs. Esa es la primera regla. La segunda regla dice que verbos monosílabos terminados en consonante vocal, consonante, o sea, sí, si, vi, sí, si, y esa regla te la tienes que haber memorizado. ¿Ok? Charlie, Víctor, Charlie. Si el verbo termina en consonante vocal, consonante, y es monosílabo, entonces, voy a duplicar la última consonante y voy a agregar ING. Ojo, consonante, vocal, consonante. Por ejemplo, play no entra dentro de esta regla. Que play no termina en consonante. No termina en consonante, vocal, consonante. Y esa regla se debe de cumplir. So, sit, sitting, get, getting, plan, planning, Run, running, stop, stopping. Así de simple. Regla número tres. Y esta es como la que más causa problema a muchos estudiantes si no han tenido un profesor que te diga sobre el estrés de la sílaba que está presente en cada palabra que pronuncias. Identificar el estrés en las sílabas te va a servir hasta para esto. Si la última sílaba está estresada, y esa sílaba termina con consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, vas a duplicar la última consonante como en el ejemplo anterior. ¿Ok? Si te fijas, no se dice begin. No, el estrés está en la segunda sílaba. Begin. Tampoco se dice forget. Se dice forget. ¿Ok? Regret. No, no, no. Regret. Admit. Upset. Upset. Entonces, de nuevo, la última sílaba está estresada. Y entonces tenés que, por fuerza, duplicar la última consonante y agregar ING. Begin, beginning, forget, forgetting, regret, regretting, admit, admitting, upset, upsetting. Y la última regla, pues, prácticamente estos son los únicos tres verbos que terminan en, con, en esta combinación de vocales I, E. Die, lie, tie. Morir, mentir, teñir. So, en este... Try, teacher? No, no, no. I, E. No, ah, que... ok. Ajá, in ajá. the... In the... Uh, how do you say the form, the basic form? In the basic form, the verb, the N is I E. Correct. Uh, solo son esos tres verbos los que terminan en I E. Si se fijan, D I E, L I E, T I E. So, si el verbo termina así, voy a remover las dos vocales y en su lugar voy a agregar una Y y la ING. So, dine, line, time. That's it. Bien, les ruego que vuelvan al, <ríe> al video y vean esta parte específicamente. Se detengan, impriman esta hoja, andenla siempre hasta que se les quede. Sí, sí. Utualito, utualito, bueno. Ahora, ¿por qué es importante esto? ¿Y qué, qué regla hace falta acá? Teacher, ¿y entonces a dónde entra el verbo sí y el verbo for sí y el verbo um, flee que terminan con doble e? ¿Qué hago ahí? Okay, someone back to English. How how do you modify these verbs? Al es. You only add in here. You just add ing. Mm -hmm. 
what? But it, it looks awful, teacher. It looks awkward if I write scene like that. Yeah, just do it. Clean. Okay. Oh. Right? And so on. I can't remember about any other verb. Uh, ending on EE. -E. Uh, uh, not right now. So, yeah, you just doubled it. You just add ing and that's it. Just add ing. Don't do this because I, I saw it. I saw some of you doing that. Don't do it. <laughs> okay? No. Tampoco esto. Seeing. No, no, no. It's just ing. Okay? Yeah. That was a question I had when I was learning. When I was a kid and I was learning, I was like, see, flee. What? How do I change the verb? Right? Looks weird. Okay, let's see your answers really quick before we do the attendance. What time is it? 8.47, okay. Oops. I sent it to the wrong chat. Wait a minute. There you go. Okay, let's move on. So give me your answers. Let's go with the book again. Here we go. Mark and Dan go. Mm -hmm. Surfing. Surfing, surfing. Uh huh. Mark and Dan go surfing. Okay. Good. During the summer vacations. During summer vacations. Teacher, pero hay otro verbo con ing. No. That's not a verb. Be careful. Mark and Dan go surfing during summer vacations. Okay. Next, some of my coworkers have difficulty working. Working. Easy, easy. You got it. Working under pressure. Uh -huh. We had a good time playing. We had a good time playing. Yeah, we had a good time playing. What? Surfing? It could be surfing too. Yeah, why not? We use sightseeing. Sightseeing. Or sightseeing. Yeah, you could say sightseeing too or surfing. Yeah, it's just having a good time. Would you have a good time working? Yeah. Okay. The new employee, it could be, it could be right? If you are Messi or, or what is it? Rolando? Ronaldo? Yeah. Right, the new employee had trouble. Understanding. Understanding. Understanding the safety regulations, yes. Companies waste money. Advertising. Advertising the wrong products. And wrong. The, it's the, wrong. 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 Wrong, wrong, wrong. Sounds like wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, and the boss goes. Playing. Playing. Yeah, right? Yeah, the boss goes playing for golf after meetings. True. Okay, you got it. That was very easy. That was just a review of what we started yesterday and tonight. We must start with a new topic, which is also on your book. Let me see. It's on page 19. Let's see if this is page 19. Yeah, page 19. We got to talk about commas to set off oppositives, 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 okay. So let's look at the examples on the box, then complete the exercises below. What is an opposite, an oppositive, a positive? What is an oppositive? What is an oppositive? Somebody, can somebody help me reading? Me, teacher? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can see, uh, yes. 
And a positive is a word or word group that defines or that identifies the noun or noun. Or noun phrases presenting Present. it. Preceding it. Preceding exactly. it, I'm sorry. Preceding it. Preceding it. So it's a word or a word group that defines or that identifies identifies the noun or noun phrase preceding it. Is a word or word group that defines or that identifies the noun or noun phrase preceding it. Let's see. Let's look at the examples. Jerry Lee, comma, the CEO of the company, comma, is always doing the possible to promote ethical behaviors at work. Now, this has to do with a previous topic we saw. Jerry Lee is always doing the possible to promote ethical behaviors at work. Now, this is an example of an opposite word. A positive, a positive, I hate this word, and a positive, and a positive word. Look at the second example. It's the same thing, and this will be um, a noun phrase, a noun phrase. Our boss who leads the talks on employee honesty will get an award at the end of the year for his, his exemplary actions, exemplary actions. Thanks. Exemplary actions. Okay. Our boss will get an award at the end of the year for his exemplary exemplary actions. Oh my God. So yeah. In this case, we're not studying the fact that you can eliminate this noun phrase. That is not the, the point. The point is the need of the commas. Let's see. And the last example, help me, Susana. Okay, the more emotionally healthy effective as measured on a battery of tests, we're more likely to score high on ethics tests. Ethic tests. Ethics tests. <laughs> ethics tests. Okay, the more emotionally healthy executives. Let's stop for a minute. All of this is defining the executives, just so you know. The more emotionally healthy executives as measured on a battery of tests were more likely to score high on ethics tests. Okay, now, this is defining a, a noun or a group of, of or a noun phrase preceding it. So this phrase is just defining the executives, okay? This, the CEO of the company is defining the noun, Jerry Lee. And this one is defining the executives, I'm sorry, this one is defining the boss, our boss. Who is our boss? Oh, who leads the talks on employee honesty. Okay, opposites, um, Ada Patricia, could you help me? An op a positives can be essential? A positive can be essential information or extra information. Only a positive that are extra information are separated from the rest of the clause be become. By become. By commas. By commas, very good. Repeat, separated. Separated. Separated, very good. Separated. Good Good reading, Nada, great job. So CEO Kevin Clark is meeting with the employees next week to encourage participation in the ethics programs. Okay, Kevin Clark is necessary to help identify CEO. So no commas are used. In other words, I could say CEO is meeting. I will have said the. Yo hubiese ocupado the, el artículo de aquí. The CEO, Kevin Clark, or the CEO, 
is meeting with the employees. So in this case, it's, it is necessary to specify who is the CEO. The CEO, Kevin Clark, is meeting with the employees. Questions? Questions? No, in this moment. Repeat, <clears throat> repeat, not for now. Not, not for, for now. now, not at the moment. Very good. Okay. So we have some examples here, but before doing the examples, I'll give you a little uh, explanation through a presentation that I found, which I find very interesting, but it's 8.57. So let's do the attendance before, so we get rid of, so we get rid of that pending task. So we get rid of Okay, this is a very useful phrasal verb. Let's go. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Gabriel Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. <laughs> this sounds like the movies, you remember? Okay. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. Excellent. Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. <laughs> Good. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Oh, man. She was here. Okay. I saw her. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Oh, <laughs> Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Aquí. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy. Wendy. Oh my God. Sleepy okay. teacher. Yeah, oh, that's, no. I think. <laughs> Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. You know what I, why I was reading like that? Oh my God, we're all here. Well, Pamela got disconnected, but we're all here. Great. Because I, I we were watching an old movie with my kids. You remember old movies used to start with all the actors and actresses at the beginning of the movie. Right? Starring Michael Keaton. Okay, and so on, right? At the beginning of the movie. In the series of the TV teacher. In this in the TV series too. Casino with Robert De Niro, for example. Casino. Oh, the, the Fantastic Island is right. The Fantastic Island? Fantasy Fantasy. Oh, the Fantasy Island. Island. Fan Fantasy. Fantasy Island. There you go. Island. Island. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It was too long. Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> that was the name of the actor? Ricardo Montalban. He was the manager of the hotel? Yeah. Oh, and... He was. Tun Tun? No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that guy? I remember that was her bunny child. Her <laughs> bunny child, some, something like that. No, 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 but what was it? Tun Tun? Tattoo. 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 <laughs> Tuntun is the Mexican guy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's another topic. Okay, so let, let's continue with this um, this topic. Let me continue sharing. So we we will have some variety a variety of examples, but let me go back to the beginning here. So, uh, positives. A positives, a positives, a positives. And a positive is a noun or pronoun that follows another noun or pronoun to identify or explain it. Sentences with one word, a positives do not need commas. So for example, my cousin Jack. 
My cousin Jack. We don't need commas there. The writer, William Shakespeare. So, and a positive phrase is made up of the a positive and its modifiers. So, for example, my neighbor, comma, Dr. Panda, got her degree in biology, the scientific study of life. And again, this is not about if we need or not the sentence, because in this example, my neighbor, I, I don't need what is in bold. How do you say negrita in English? Bold. Bold, yes, exactly. Good, you're paying attention, great job. Okay, so yeah, what is in bold? You don't, you may not need it, right? What is negrita, teacher? Bold, B-O-L-D, B-O-L-D. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh, the, Dr. Panda, the scientific study of life, it's in bold. When you are using word, Anaselmi, and you use negrita, bold. Have you seen that, that well, if you have office in, in, in English, it's a B. It is a B. But if you're using word or office in Spanish, it's an N, right? Sorry, no, teacher. la negrita, eh, el sombreado. How, how, how can I explain this? Ah, the bold, the, the, the <laughs> yeah. font of the letter, teacher. Mm, yeah, yeah, the like font the of color. the color. The style, the, the style, the color. The style, you have ah, bold, okay. you have ital, ital, italic. Okay, bold, okay. Italic. Yo, negrita, yo, what is that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there, there is an S as well. I'm sorry. S. You in, have... in my mind, is I am in other context. <laughs> in another context. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. It's clear. Thank you. Okay, good. So, but hey, good. that's a good topic. I mean, if you use it in English, you have bold, italic, scratch, scratch, like I say, um, and that's it. Okay, let's move on. So, this is piece of information may not be needed, but if it is needed, if you are adding it, you need to use both commas. Helpful hints. Helpful hints. What is a hint? A clue? A clue? Blue's clues? Blue's clues? Yes, teacher. El correo ya llegó anunciando su canción y gritó con emoción. Uh -huh. Yeah, clue, yeah. clue, ah, hint. Clue. Hint. Hint. hint, hint, like a clue. Uh-huh, uh-huh, a helpful clue, a helpful <laughs> hint. Okay, uh -huh. occasionally the a positive phrase precedes the noun or pronoun. For example, an a positive phrase renames the noun or pronoun, has no subject or verb, and can be removed from a sentence, still leaving it intact, can appear anywhere in a sentence. Let's look at some examples to make sense to this. I'm sure we have some examples, okay? My cousin is a wonderful musician. I have many cousins, so I have to explain. There are no commas because Betty is a one word, a positive. I don't need the commas. I have to mention the name in this case, my cousin Betty. I have many cousins. I have to be very explicit. My cousin Betty is a wonderful musician. Okay. So look at these examples. An accomplished painter, Miss Micro, entered her work in all the top-notch art shops. The right thing will be the second example re brought to you by Anna Selmi. An accomplished painter, Miss. Micro entered her work in all the top-notch art shops. 
art shops. Very good. An accomplished painter, comma, Miss Micro. I will say comma there too, you know, enter her work in all the top notch art shops. There are more examples like this one. For example, this is wrong. Romeo, and, Romeo, I'm sorry, Romeo and Juliet, a play about two young lovers was written by William Shakespeare, a talented writer in the Elizabeth and the Elizabethan era. The right thing will be, Carla? In a Romeo and Juliet, a play about two young lovers was written by William, oh, William Shakespeare, <laughs> 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 in the Elizabethan era. Era, Elizabeth very good. I know, your kids, don't worry. <laughs> These children. She's desperate, she's hungry. <laughs> in the okay. sentence teacher, the both part, they are a positive. You got it. Yes. And it makes sense if you think about it. And I said, Romeo and Juliet was written by William Shakespeare. That's it. Romeo and Juliet was written by William Shakespeare. And the other information is for... To clear, clear out. Okay. To clear things out. To clear things out. Repeat, to clear things out. For clear uh, to, to, things out. Let me clear this out. Repeat, let me clear this out. Let me clear this out. Déjame aclararlo, right? Para aclararlo. Okay. Let me clear this out. Let me clear this out. Okay. Let me clear this out. Okay, let's practice. On a separate sheet of paper, write the word preceding the opposite, if any. The appositive or a positive phrase on the second one, and the word following the appositive or the appositive phrase. So just identify. That's just identifying these three sentences if you need or not the commas. Okay. Six flags, comma, Everybody. and a Muslim park with location all over the okay. US, yes. comma, is my favorite place to go. That's good. <laughs> okay, it's every right. everybody, I don't know. <laughs> Take your time, everybody, try to resolve this. Just add the commas if you consider that, that, that something needs commas here.
Okay. Do we agree with Anaselmi on number one? Six Flags and amusement park with locations. And again, amusement park with locations all over the, the US is my favorite place to go. Where are the commas again, Anaselmi? Six Flags, comma, and amus amusement park with location all over the U.S., comma, is my favorite place to go. Amusement. 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 Mm -hmm. An amusement, an amusement, an, an amusement. An amusement. There you go. An amusement park with locations all over the U.S. It's my favorite place to go. Do, you, do we agree? Or does anybody disagree? I really, I really trying, teacher. Also, I, I am reading what is an a positive, a positive. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to understand, but I understand that in that sentence, it's not necessary to mention some things. I think no. Uh, that that's what is clear that's the clearest part yes but let's go part by part the war preceding or preceding the appositive okay oh, okay let's yeah. let's identify the word preceding the appositive on um for for example for me in the in the number one sentence is for me it's not necessary that you mention a part uh, with location all over the u.s Six Flags is my favorite yeah. place to go. Yeah, it's not necessarily mentioned with location of our views. And it is not. Yeah, I agree with you. But <laughs> I mean, if yeah. if someone, um, there's people who doesn't know what is Six Flags. Oh, yes. Six yes. Flags. So if you are in that context, you must want to, you may want to use that. Now, okay. the word preceding the appositive in this case is Six Flags. The appositive or a positive phrase, what is it? All of this between the commas is the appositive phrase in this case. Okay, that's the appositive phrase. On the previous example, we, we saw something like Dr. Phelps. My neighbor, Dr. Phelps, comma, you see? That is an appositive noun, not an appositive phrase. I just wanted to. Yes, I, I'm reading that it mm -hmm. provides it it provides information that identifies or defines it. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we have the following uh, the word following the positive or the positive phrase. So what is following the positive phrase? All this phrase is my favorite place to go. It's just to identify things. One, two, three. Let's see, let's go with the next one. What do you think? Um, Walter Mauricio, what do you think about number two? Um, of the comma. Okay. A career working. Career working as Okay, working a six flying comma uh -huh. uh, has no hair has no hair and only one tooth. Good, one tooth. So number one, the word preceding the positive. Number two, the phrase preceding the a positive. I mean, uh, following, following the opposite. There you go. And next one, Gabrielita. Bobo. Okay. Uh, Bobo, comma, the really funny crowd, comma, can make all sorts of balloon animals. Yep. All sorts of balloon animals. That's right. So we have a noun, then the appositive phrase in this case, and then the following 
statement or sentence or word. How does it work? Let's see. Six Flags, an amusement park with locations all over the U.S. is da -da 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 -da. exactly. Howdy, comma, a carny working at Six Flags, comma, has da -da -da -da. you were right. Bobo, the really funny clown, comma, you got it. Now they are using the exact example what they wanted as answers, right? So just the word preceding the the a positive phrase, and that's it. This is very useful. I'll send you the link right now so you can watch the presentation. And we have an exercise on our book on page nineteen. So yes, you're just making a pause to emphasize more information that can describe. So if you were talking to your family members, for example, about me, and you say, Rafael is teaching me English, that's normal, right? Rafael is teaching me English, okay. They will go like, who, who, who is Rafael? In, in that case, he's right. Rafael. Yeah. Come on. I mean, I, I, no, no, no. Um, okay. That's my point. Rafael is teaching me English. And a family member will be like, who, who is Rafael, right? Oh, Rafael, an English yeah. teacher from English Corporativo, is teaching me English. He is right. Rafael, who is my teacher. Yeah. Although, if it's you not, say teacher, it, it's. Not necessary. I mean, the point well, is. Well, a like, funny person. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Or let's say that you know me. You know me, right? Rafael, my neighbor, is teaching me English. It's the same in Spanish. If, if the people you're talking to is aware of the topic, or the person you're talking about, you don't need to specify a lot of details. That is more information because it's necessary to clear. To clarify. Clarify, clarify mm -hmm. the, the um, sentences. You know what? I have a, a sister at church. She's, she's, she's an old lady, but she talks to everybody like if they knew what she's talking about. Uh, the first time I talked to her was like, okay, okay. oh yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for respect, right? <laughs> because um, she goes like, es que viera Doña Juanita, todas las mañanas se levanta a darle de comer a los gatitos de la calle, después viene Don Pedro, que no sé qué es que ese Don Pedro a usted. Juanita. Uh, uh, and, and you go like, what? <laughs> so that that's that's the point. That's the point. If you don't clarify, what what? Because it is not complete. <laughs> yeah, I mean it doesn't make sense. So let's see. We are on book on page nineteen. Let me go down. I think yeah, it's just page nineteen. Yeah. So page 19, look, you have six examples of sentences that we need to complete. So I'll send you the screenshot of the book, although you should have it at this point. So again, we just need to separate using commas. If needed, if needed. Cuando no necesito comas, alguien que me lo diga. Porque en los ejemplos no estaba. No, this is my point. Is my That's my point. Is, yes. Is clear. Is clear. Uh -huh. when is necessary the coma. Ajá. Uh -huh. But when is it not necessary? The accountant, Anna Selmi, is very efficient in, in her job. 
there are three accountants, so I have to be clear. I must be clear, okay? There, I don't need the commas. N is a short, a positive. The accountant is very efficient. What, what accountant? We have three. Oh, okay. The accountant, uh, Naselmi, is very efficient. No? In that what? case, no necessary comma. No, you don't need a comma because it's a short, a positive, and it is needed. You must say the name. That's it. Which is what we are used to do. Okay, let's split up and let's work on page 19, which is on your book, on your WhatsApp already. Everybody, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello. Hello, Gabby. Hello, Rose. Good evening. Okay, we have to okay. we have to do the exercise. Mm. Help the employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talent, talent, new, talent, new hire. Mm. Can you see the the book? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, read the sentence. Decide if some of the phrases are a positive. Then add comma if necessary. Happy okay. employees increase productivity. Happy employees increase productivity. Happy employees increase productivity. Happy employees. Happy employees. Increased productivity. Mm -hmm. For me, the number one. Mm. Yeah, we need comma. Happy employees. Increased productivity. Make it easier. Increased productivity. Make it easier. After employees make for me. Yeah, for me, songs like happy employees, happy employees, increase productivity. Happy employees, increase productivity. Increase productivity and make it easier. Mm -hmm. Happy employees. Happy employees increase productivity. Comma. Happy employees increase productivity. Comma. Mm. Here. Mm. Oh, happy employees. Comma. Increase productivity. Comma. Happy employees. Comma. Increase productivity. Mm. Increase productivity and make it easier to attract talent in high. Increase productivity and make it happy, make it easier. Or maybe it's not necessary the comma in this sentence. Uh -huh. <laughs> happy employees, maybe. happy employees, increase productivity and make it easier to attract talent in your hives. Mm. You may need just one comma, happy employees increase productivity and, and comma, make it, make it easier wow. to attract talented new hires. And, and comma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one comma. Oh. 
Oh, uh, oh yes. I mm -hmm. I read that until happy employees include productivity. <laughs> Okay. So difficult. <laughs> okay. No, it's just the way you say it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. The, the way you're doing it, just repeat yes. it. Yes. Uh -huh. Until you get mm. it. Women are not committing or tolerate, tolerating unethical activities that okay. can cripple a company's okay. reputation. Mm -hmm. Women are not committing. Women are not. Criminal acts committed. Criminal acts, comma. Criminal acts, comma. acts, Committing or tolerating unethical activities is incredible. No putting up with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination can make work more enjoyable for employees. Hmm. Not putting up not putting up with bad behavior. Difficult. No, because you, you can use that uh, before activities. No, okay, technical activities can reply a company's reputation. Maybe, maybe the the writing, criminal, the criminal acts, comma, Commit, committing or tolerating, tolerating unethical activities, comma, can uh -huh. yes, yes, unethical activities, companies comma, reputation. Can principle. Two commas. Yeah. One. Criminal acts, comma, and the next activities, comma. Criminal only, acts, only, comma, only one comma. committing or tolerating unethical activities, comma. comma. Can, can triple, triple, triple is right. A triple, company reputation. A company's reputation, triple. What is the main triple? What? What is the main triple? What is the meaning of triple, triplicar? Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, number three. Now putting up with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination can make work more enjoyable for employees. No putting, no, up. putting up with bad behavior like harassment. Maybe not putting up with bad behavior. Come. Yes, behavior like comma. After behavior or discrimination, comma, comma. comma. Can. can make work more enjoyable for employees. I agree with that. Next behavior and discrimination. Number four. Number four. Many of the best managers, comma, practice currently on trend and easier to achieve if the company acts. Achieve, comma, mentally. achieve, comma. After, achieve, active. Achieve, achieve. Achieve, comma, if the company acts every time. Yes? Mm. Can you repeat, Sandra, please? Mm. 
many on the best managed practice. Practice uh, concentrate on the RS to achieve comma with the company at Erica. Or maybe many of the best management practice, comma, currently on trend, comma, are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. Because I think it's many of the best management practice currently or trend. Actualmente en tendencia. Many, many, many of the best management practices, coma, currently in trend, coma, are easier to achieve in the com if the company acts ethical. If the sentences don't say currently on trend, use that next practice. Si la oración no dijera currently or trend, diría many, many of the best management are easier practice. to achieve if the company acts. Ethical. Ethical. Okay. Okay. Ahí me hace más sentido haciendo así el ejemplo, quitando esa como para determinar si en efecto es parte de. But is many of the best management practices. Uh -huh. Muchas de las mejores prácticas en administración. Uh -huh. Are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. Tickle. For me, is, is, how do you say? Practices, coma. Or coma. Coma. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A key component to workplace ethics, comma, mm -hmm. for me. Aside from integrity, is integrity, comma, is being mm -hmm. honest no. and Mm -hmm. It could be the comma in the workplace. Is a key component no, to workplace. No. Um, workplace edit is. ¿Cómo se dice unido? L lugar de trabajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Lugar de trabajo no es workplace. Va uh -huh. allí, hace un énfasis, después dice. I see this from, uh -huh. o sea, como oh, por aparte de la integridad o además, allí hace un quiebre. Por uh -huh. mí sería. O sea, en, e from integrity, coma. Coma, yes. Uh -huh. Is being honest and doing the right thing at all times. Sí, solo la duda la tengo en ethics, coma. For mm -hmm. me, it's a key component to workplace. Mm -hmm. Coma, and ethics aside from integrity, coma, is being honest and doing the, the right thing at all times. Mm -hmm. Pero... No estoy tan seguro. Mm. 
Bueno. O sea, para usted quiere decir que eh, la primera coma lleva en Workplace. En Workplace. Es que edit es como, como decir, por aparte, creo, no sé si significa además por aparte. Edit. No. Así, ah, edit. Edit 6. No. Sí. Etic es ética. Ética. Uh -huh. Ah, no. Vaya, por eso le digo. Uh -huh. mí. No. Ah, pues sí, entonces sí sería allí. En etic. Sí, tiene razón. I have one do in the one uh, sentence. Solo tengo la, o la duda de la primera oración. Es la okay. única que me tiene con la duda. Um, si lleva um, o no lleva coma. En happy employees and increase in productivity. For me, it's And happy employee coma. For me. It could be. It could be. Another option is a no comma. And the ones. The number two is a criminal acts, comma, comma, and committing or the tolerating a unethical activities, comma, can cripple a company reputation. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Number three. No. Continue. Nope. Continue. Number three. Number three is no putting up. With bad comma behavior like uh, harassment or discrimination comma can make work more enjoyable for employees. No, oh, I didn't so. I didn't so. For me, it's good. Uh, number five. Uh, number, number four. four. Uh -huh. <laughs> y para decir la pena. Espérame, teacher, que estamos aquí dándonos consejos. <laughs> Pero de He's inglés. <laughs> Where is the teacher? <laughs> yes. I'm here. I'm just listening. Okay. <laughs> We're just talking about, you know, uh, working place, places or what we do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'll, do I'll do it in I English. Guess. Okay. <laughs> Will do. I asked I ask to <laughs> Kenya. I asked Kenya, I, Kenya without I, the two. Uh -huh. I, I asked Kenya uh, how she do uh, how she how she do in, in her workplace to speak English and no translate to Spanish the idea to, to want to express. Mm -hmm. She practices every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because she works, yeah, she works using English, yeah. Right, like um, I was telling Carla that it's really difficult because even if I'm working, sometimes I'm just like reading, um, For example, these phrases, and I cannot go ahead and just like translate that. Um, it's really difficult for me. Um, and I can see here in this group, um, for example, Anna Selmi. Mm -hmm. I don't remember her name, but she's really good at that, like, you know, translating um, 
phrases. So it's something just like, you know, practicing. Remember um, that, well, at least the book has uh, more technical words. Mm -hmm. Right, so that may be the difference. <laughs> Come on, come on. What 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 number are you on? Um, we already finished. Oh yes, oh. we're done. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. Okay, continue the chat then. Let me check another group. We're almost done. Okay. okay. And it looks like you are done, right? Yes, teacher, we're done. Okay. Yeah. Good. Everybody's done then. Let's go. Okay, okay. I know these things may be a little bit difficult due to the uh, technicisms, the technical vocabulary that you need to use. And believe me, the more you learn, I mean, you will continue learning your whole life because there are different fields of English that you will need to face. Eventually, one day you will need to talk about mechanics, about, you know, the car, that kind of uh, vocabulary. You cannot just memorize it, you know, that's not the way it works. You've got to face these scenarios, these scenarios, I'm sorry, to, to face them, to learn them. So we're back. Let's continue. Where is this thing? Here it is. I want hey. to tell you something. Yep. Today, see a new movie to Willow. It's like on, it's, it's the second part. What? The second part, Willow? Yes, the Willow. I see today. You saw it? I saw it. Oh, it what? That's 2022. I got an ad. Really? That's crazy that they're going to do a second part. What movie? But of course, with all the, all the new technology and everything, right? That they just launched it. Like, yeah, they're going to launch it in, in 2022. Wow. Thank you for the news, Susana. Atrasada, pero es. <laughs> That's really good. I, I loved I loved um the Princess Bride, something like that was what was it? The Princess Rescue, something like that. El rescate de la princesa. Yeah. It's my favorite movie, teacher. Yeah, it was a beautiful tale. I'm watching with my kids um something that I don't remember watching when I was a kid. El cuenta cuentos. On, on TikTok, there's a guy uploading piece by piece. It's three minutes of each story. If you want to find it, uh, try to find the tale of El Soldado y la Muerte, the soldier in, in the death, the soldier in the death. El Soldado y la Muerte is a very awesome tale. I mean, I was 
and it that's from the 70s or 80s it's amazing i mean it's a it's a russian tale it is a russian tale so el soldado y la muerte and you can look it up on tiktok and it's a guy telling the tale he has a dog and he goes describing what happened you know but it's you're gonna be amused make and if you have kids if you have kids watch it with your kids they're gonna go like what <gasps> right okay so let's see happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talented new hires where's the comma here should we add commas Teacher, for me, we don't need commas in this example. Susana because says no commas. Mm -hmm. because? I don't need commas because we have a, the word end. And I think this you need two sentences. You need two sentences? How? Nah. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. Continue. Okay. Okay, I think the end unit, the first explication, happy employees increase productivity mm -hmm. is the first part. And the second, make it, it easier than next. I think that the word end unit. You, um, the word, the, the, the connector end puts both things together or adds more information. Okay, uh -huh. describes, describes. Okay, very good. What do you think, guys? Everybody, everybody. <laughs> Let's get to uh, it. Uh, I think, I think Sana? I need comma and two attract. Where? To attract. To uh, easier comma to attract talent new easier hires. comma to attract yeah. talented new hires. So yes. let, let's see, let's so, see. Happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talented new hires. Display, mm. display the sentences or complement mm. to attract. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I believe that it's not necessary the commas. Okay, commas are not necessary. Yes and no. Without commas, okay, Susana is totally right. It's just adding more information. But if you want to emphasize when you speak, you can make a pause after a connector, after a um, what's meaning easier teacher what meaning easier easier, easier, easier yes is the comparative form of easy 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 easier easy, easy? the easiest again uh, easy easier the easiest fácil más fácil el más fácil mm -hmm. right okay Easy, Bye. easier, the easiest. Okay, so if you want to emphasize, you can add the comma after the connector. So happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talent to the new hires. If, no, 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 it's, not, it's just if you want to emphasize, if you want to sound, to make it sound something important to say. Los empleados, let's see, uh, empleados felices incrementan la productividad y hacen más fácil um, atraer talento, talento la humano. contratación de no, nuevos sí. talentos. La contratación de nuevo talento, perfect. Entonces mm. hago énfasis en eso. Y, right? Or, I don't do it. Happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talented new hires, which is fine too. So both ways, but no, you cannot put, put two commas here. That wouldn't make sense. Number two.
What's wrong Activities? with you? You're, you're so shy tonight. Activities? Activities, what? Como? Activities, como? Okay. Criminal acts committing or tolerating unethical activities can cripple a company's reputation. What is cripple? I, I heard it said triple, but no, it's cripple. Cripple. Did you Google it? No. Well, the company's reputation. Lisiar. Lisiar, teacher. Lisiar. Dañar. Yeah, like injure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or spoil, damage, ruin, mess up. That's interesting. Okay, so, okay. Criminal acts, committing or tolerating unethical activities. Is this the right way? Yeah. Criminal acts can cripple a company's reputation. Yes. Number three, not, listen, not putting up, not putting up with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination can make work more enjoyable for employees. Not putting up with bad behavior, comma, like harass hmm. harassment or discrimination, comma, can make work more enjoyable for employees. Excellent, repeat, behavior. 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 There you go. Behavior. 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 Enjoyable. Enjoyable. Ah, not ja, ja, no. enjoyable. Enjoyable. Enjoy. Enjoyable. Enjoyable. Uh -huh. Enjoyable. 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 Don't say enjoy ya. Enjoy ya. No. Enjoyable. 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 That's right. Enjoyable for employees' behavior. Now, when you do this, you must make a pause when you're given an example. Not putting up with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination can make work more enjoyable for employees. Now, following it's the idea. It's not comma before like, teacher. Yeah. Yes. In this example, mm -hmm. it is. It is. Yes. Okay. Behavior, comma, like, harass, harass, like harassment. Har harassment. Harassment or mm -hmm. discrimination. With bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you read it without this um, option, not putting up with bad behavior can make work more enjoyable for employees. That makes sense. Number four. Who's going to give me number four? Should I choose a victim? Volunteer, victim, volunteer, a victim. I try to. Mm. Victim, excellent. Okay, oh. number four. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, I, I'm going to try. Please. Many, many of the best management practices, comma, currently on trend, comma, are easy to achieve if the company acts ethically. Yes. Ethically. 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 Okay. Many of the best management practices are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. 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 Very good. Currently on trend are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. Unethically. 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 Oh, my God. I'm, I'm thinking about that word. Hold on. Ethically or ethically? Ethically, ethically, ethically. Ethical. Mm -hmm. Oh, where am I typing? That's it. Ethically. 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 So yes, I'm right. Ethically. Okay. The economy benefits. Oh, what is this? Look, it's already with commas. Ta -da. Okay. The economy benefits. In the words of the experts, 
when companies refrain from using dirty tricks to crush competitors. The company benefits, in the words of experts, hmm, when company refrain from using dirty tricks to crush competitors. This doesn't make sense. The company benefits. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I got it. The company benefits when companies refrain from using dirty tricks to crush competitors. Do you think that's right? Number five. Yes, it's correct. Yes, it is correct. Now, in this case, the writer is making emphasis on the fact that these are not his or her words, right? He's making reference to the word of experts. Okay, number six. I'm going to select someone with the camera off. Let's see. Oh, Adriana, are you there? Adriana Stephanie. Martinez Flores. Mrs. Flores? No? Okay, now I'm going to select somebody who is falling asleep. Let's see. Wilfredo Guardado. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up, man. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Number six. Um, let me let me see. A key component. Mm -hmm. Workplace ethics aside from inter integrity is being honest and uh, comma and doing and doing the right things at all times. Okay, what do you think? Gabriela, and by the way, Wilfredo, you say component. Component. Integrity. In, in, integrity. Integrity, uh -huh, integrity, component, mm -hmm. integrity. Okay, what do you think, guys, everybody? I believe that a key component to workplace ethics comma aside from integrity is being honest and and sorry aside from integrity comma is being honest and doing the right thing at all three times good a key component to workplace ethics is being honest and doing the right thing at all times at all, at all, at all, at, at all. all times, at all. at all times. That's right. At all. I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it at all. No, don't worry. I don't mind it at all. And yes, that's the answer. Um, yep. A key component to workplace ethics, aside from integrity, is being honest and doing the right thing at all times, at all times. Good job, guys. I hope you understood the topic. Check the video. Uh, check the grammar on how to modify verse with ing and also how to apply these examples. Tonight, we are young. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez, do you have 10 minutes? Yeah, teach. Yep. Okay. So we're staying 10 minutes. Uh, Nelson, Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Listen, teacher. Good night. Please turn on your cameras, guys. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Where's Edwin? He's gone. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria good Elizabeth night. Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night, Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. 
Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, good night. Good night, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, Wilfredo. Bye. Sorry, Bye. sorry for your equipment. <laughs> hey. Barça sorry, and Paz. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the next time you're going oh to be. Oh, my God. Okay. Bye, Bye my friend. <laughs> Good night. Good ball. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Okay, Mr. Sanchez Ramirez, how are you tonight? Um, today is, is good. Great to hear. Okay, let's practice. Uh, let's see if you have been, have you been practicing? Yes, teacher. I have been studying and watching video. And Videos. I found in the YouTube channel Mm -hmm. that has audio books and spend a little time at the mm. to study. Yes, it the birds, the tense. The tenses. Yes. The tenses, but I read it standing uh, them, but and still uh, hard at the listen and understand is, is more, but I have problem. But the listening is understanding is is more. Actually, yeah. you're you're speaking better. Yes, because in I have the the study much much video in the in in, in, in the in the new computer in the chain in, in the world and the menu is in, in, on English. In, okay. Everything is in English on your yes. new computer. Yes. Good. That's okay, good. The but, menu. Uh huh. And the yes. videos as well. Okay. Well, if that that's helping you, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. Um. What are your favorite activities to do? Well, where my favorite where in maybe is to do in the in the learn is the learn in is english learning english learning english in the okay. watch in, in the in the in the books because uh, 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 wait wait, wait. The, okay forget about the 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 i need you to focus no, the, the. Okay, yeah. so no vamos a decir el artículo de, ya no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, vamos a enfocarnos en eso. Okay, so again, what are your favorite activities? Where I have the learning. Oh, you said it, you said it. Again, what are <laughs> your favorite activities? I, I learn. I like? I learn. I like learn is a book learning learning books in the oh, in, in the oh you said it again in the in the, yeah. in the, in the <laughs> let's <laughs> remove it let's remove it okay on oh, well it is applicable on the internet mm -hmm. reading reading books yes mm. reading books yeah. what yes. kind of books do you like to read um uh, uh, for the moment, uh, I focus in, in, in books, uh, long network, because I I learning. Because I'm studying. Because I'm studying, studying. about yes. land networks. In the course. In the course that you're taking at Ipca, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the moment. For the moment. At this moment. For, for now. For now. Currently. Okay. LAN network. I I can remember when I used to work at Dell, Dell in Concentrix now, now it's Concentrix. We used to set up computers together 
Mm -hmm. uh, we, we had a lab, we had a lab, you know, a, labor a laboratory, laboratory with computers, uh, with XPS, Optiplexes, with um, Latitude laptops, and Alienware, Alienware Area 51, Alienware, there was a combination of XPS Alienware, which just which was exclusively for gaming, you know. Man, it was crazy. I mean, they used to they, they used to call us and hey, let's go to the lab. Let's go to the lab. About five of us, five at the time. So I remember once we had to connect the five computers, five computers on the same network to play on real tournament, on real tournament. It's an online game, but it was a shooting game, you know, like you are, a, you are a character and you have to kill the others inside the game. But it was so <laughs> crazy. I mean, in our, 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 our uh, prize, our prize was the game, was to play for a little. That was our prize. If we, we were able to put the five computers on the same network, to communicate with each other, then we could play. That was amazing. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> and and you know why we why we used to do that? To test the NVIDIA NVIDIA video cards. Video card. Video card. Video yeah. video. The video cards. It's we smart. used we used to play uh, Crisis Crisis as well. You're, have mm -hmm. you heard? Have you heard about crisis? Mm -hmm. No, no. That's a famous video game from the two thousands. Two thousands. It was really heavy. I mean, the the graphics were really heavy. You could see you could see the hair, the hair uh, of the characters moving. It was really heavy graphics. It's a, 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 when when I have the a, a, a younger when i was a, younger a, a, yes when i when was I, younger when i was younger uh, i i my my party favorite uh, video game be, no my favorite uh, um website yes no I like the 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 go the in the in the play uh, electronic, but in the uh, in my in my young on in my time, uh, I have uh, the pay uh, twenty twenty five cent in cents. The, the, oh, uh, at the at the machines the, the play, the, the, at the, the arcade, the arcade. Yes. Yeah, but, I used to but, I used to go to the arcade with my father in Santa Ana, playing okay. playing the air, aircrafts, you know. Yes. Yeah, 1952 was the name of the game. Principal area de oportunidad. Estoy ocupando mucho el artículo THE. Uh, I used the play en lugar de decir I used to play. Estoy diciendo I used the play. Entonces, volvamos a ver el video en esta parte, Nelson, y analice lo cada, cada vez que usted interactúa, es como, in, I, I, eso, I use the play. I use to play. Okay. I want the play, I want the work. No, I want to work. I like to work. So, si intentamos... The infinity. You said you ese, infinity. Exactly, yeah. Después de like, want, need, have, love, hate, siempre van a ir separados con ese two. I have to play, I have to go, I have to work. Right? Mm -hmm. So, analícese y, y va a ver que esa área. Entonces, borremos el artículo en la medida de lo posible. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. hago esto? Eh, esta pregunta que le, bueno, hágase la pregunta. What, be, what, what did I like to do? What do I like to do? Okay, I like to. Ta -da 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 -da. 
right? okay. etc. Entonces, es muy importante que a este nivel, Nelson, usted empiece a, a hacer este ejercicio. Hágase una pregunta y la va respondiendo. Una vez sienta confianza o que ya las ideas estén frescas, ¿sí? Porque eso es lo, yeah. lo que más cuesta al principio, es como, ¿qué digo? Bebé? Entonces, cuando ya tenga una narrativa en su cabeza y ya sienta confianza, agarre el celular y se graba. ¿Ok? Y empieza a escucharse. ¿Qué quería decir ahí? Escríbalo si es necesario. Y va a empezar a detectar esos gaps, esos pequeños vacíos de gramática que están fáciles, están fáciles de, de quitárselos, pero hay que identificarlos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, okay thank you. Good night, okay. Nelson. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye.